Hello everyone, it's Molly from College Express. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is very exciting because we are doing a new giveaway. We've collaborated with Dr. Don Martin, who is a grad school expert. Um, he served as the Director of Admissions at uh, Columbia, Northwestern, University of Chicago, amongst others. Um, he's coached more than 300 grad students uh, with a 97% admission rate to schools like Harvard, Johns Hopkins, Cornell, and Emory. Um, he also just published a book which is called Roadmap for Graduate Study, a guide for prospective graduate students. And he also has his own website which is called The Grad School Roadmap where you can visit and read more information about him and how you can get in contact with him and um, the resources that he has to offer prospective grad students. And I'll make sure to link all of that down below. Okay, so before I dive into what you can win and how you can enter in this giveaway, um, I had the pleasure of doing a quick Q&A with Dr. Martin and his business partner, Kevin Kiley. They answer a few questions that a lot of students have about grad school, how to get in, uh, how does it compare to undergrad, um, and just you know general information just to give you a little in introduction to who Dr. Martin is and uh, the kind of questions that people ask him and the kind of advice that he gives. So I'll put that in right after this and you guys can watch that and hopefully benefit from it. And then I'll get into what the giveaway is. Also, I hope you guys appreciate my shirt. It's a big mood today. Okay, so stay tuned and enjoy the next part of the video. Okay. All right, so thank you Dr. Don Martin and Kevin Kiley for joining us today to answer a few questions that a lot of people have about grad school. Um, so we will start with our first question. Uh, which is, uh, how does grad school compare to undergrad? You know, what are some of the similarities and differences between the two? Sure. Well, I, I, there, are the, there are many, many uh, differences between the two, and I think it's important to have an understanding of that when you start the process and just kind of know what you're getting into. I think that um, among the differences, and again, there are many, is that in grad school is that quite simply, is everyone pretty much wants to be there. Uh, it's not necessarily the case in undergrad that people don't want to be there, but as I'm sure all of us who have been through college have experienced, people's dedication and that sort of thing has various different levels on the undergraduate level. In graduate school, everyone is there by design, intentionally with purpose and that kind of thing. Another big difference is that in graduate school, you're going to be likely very hyper-focused on your chosen area of study. Whereas an undergrad, uh, you maybe had a couple minors, maybe you double majored um, and had a broader sort of academic experience. Um, I mean, finally, a uh, you know, big difference between uh, undergrad and grad school is that uh, graduate school is as much about what happens outside the classroom as what happens inside. And if you're only gauging your success as a graduate student by what happens inside the classroom, uh, I would submit that you're missing out on a big part of what grad school is all about. And there are many other differences, um, but those are the big ones between grad school and undergrad. Awesome, thank you. Um, and then another question um, would be, what should uh, a student look for in a potential grad program? I, I, it's, a, it's a phenomenal question that I think almost every prospective graduate student has to ask him or herself early in the process. And I think it gets back to a very simple question, and that is, is why? Why am I doing this? Uh, and that's going to be a very subjective thing for everyone. Uh, everyone's going to have a potentially different answer to that question. But it requires some thought and introspection, I should say, up front uh, to think about, um, you know, what's important to me? Uh, is it the specific course of study? Um, is it part-time versus full-time? Is it the quality of the education, the prestige or brand name of the institution, the flexibility of the curriculum, the length of study, um, full-time, uh, I should say, a traditional brick-and-mortar, online, a hybrid? There are so many different potential things. Um, after thought and introspection, and determining you know, kind of what your care abouts are, then you can take sort of those next steps as far as researching various schools and determining what might be the best fit for why am I doing this. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin. Very insightful. Um, and then another question a lot of students have is when should they start planning for grad school? 
Well, the simple answer for that, Molly, is that they should start planning far enough ahead to get all the information they need so when the time comes to apply, they're ready. One of the things I often tell prospective graduate students is that the biggest mistake they will ever make is not doing adequate research before they apply. This is common. It happens every year. It continues to happen. So what I strongly recommend is at least six to nine months before you submit your applications, you should be doing some research on all of your program options. And one other quick tip here, don't settle for just two or three schools that someone else told you about or are more highly ranked. Take the time to look at many options. There's a plethora of information out there, free information on the web that will enable you to do this. This is about the best match for you. This is your education, so take that time. Awesome. And then um, the last question that uh, a lot of students have is, how do they stand out um, you know, against all the other candidates when their application gets in front of um, grad school admissions officers? I'm so glad you asked me this question because it's one of the hot points that I like to talk about with students, so I'll try to keep this short. Basically, the best way, the best way, in my opinion, over 38 years working with prospective graduate students, 38 years, I started when I was 10, by the way. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the, the very best way to stand out is a simple one. It's almost It almost goes without saying, but students don't think about it. Be yourself. Two words. Be yourself. Be authentic. Don't buy into this thing about having to be Superman or Superwoman. No one is. Uh, Oscar Wilde said it beautifully. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Just be yourself. Let the committee know you. Not somebody else. Not what somebody else thinks you should do. At the end of the day, let them know you. Be yourself. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, and thank you guys for joining us and answering a few questions. And to everyone watching this video, stay tuned to see how you can win a free copy of uh, Dr. Don Martin's book and a free 30-minute uh, consultation to learn more about how to uh, get into grad school and all about it. So thanks again, guys. All right. You. So thank you again to Dr. Martin and Kevin for joining me for our little Skype date. That was super useful information, and it was so fun doing that with you guys. Um, so... The prize of this giveaway, what we are giving away, is uh, there's one 30-minute consultation with Dr. Martin. It's all free, obviously. And then the first 50 people who enter the giveaway will receive, will receive a free signed copy of his new book, which is so awesome. So how you can enter is in 200 words or fewer, if you could comment below on this video and describe why you want to go to grad school and the kind of advice you're looking for. And if you're not comfortable answering this question, you know, on a public forum and you want to keep it more private, you don't want people to steal your amazing ideas, then you are more than welcome to send us a, an email um, at feedback at collegeexpress.com and you'll still be entered just like everybody else, but it can only be seen by the CX team. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We hope that you enter the giveaway and congratulations in advance to the lucky winner of the free consultation and to those 50 people who will get a free copy of this book. So we will see you in our next video and we are looking forward to giving away all this free stuff. Okay, bye-bye.